Oh, good day. This is a uh, response to Merrilee Penman's uh, video YouTube questions. What is Wiki Educator specifically? Uh, Merrilee touched on two particular questions. What is Libra knowledge? And Libra should be spelt with L I B R E there, by the way. And what is the difference between an active and a dormant project? And who gets uh, to propose a project? Well, these questions don't really need a screen recording, but we'll do it anyway to see what Merrilee is talking about. Um, looking at the wiki educator main page here wikieducator.org slash main page or just wikieducator.org and uh, first of all I can find uh, where Merrily is talking about our community values here and in there it references in the freedoms of all educators to teach with the technologies and contents of their choice hence our commitment to free slash libra and open source technology tools and free content uh, the use of the word Libra was, uh, I'm not sure when it came about, but it relates to um, open source software terminology when uh, the free software movement uh, were at pains to point out that free software didn't mean just is, is in free product or the saying goes free beer. Uh, they were also talking about free as in freedom. And they felt that the English word of free was too easily corrupted or, or misinterpreted as meaning only free products. Uh, and so they wanted to use the word Libra, which implied more specifically freedom, the freedoms to copy, distribute, re-perform, uh, perform, make derivatives of, I can't remember the exact list, but there are, it's about the freedoms of the and the reusability of the uh, products more than they're freely available. Um, exact examples might be that, sure, Microsoft um, Media Player is freely available, but it has very um, a large number of limitations to it. Uh, which for people involved in free software would consider it not so free, um, not allowed to make copies and distribute. I think you're restricted on what you can use it for and things like that. Um, so yeah, that explains Libra. Now projects, where were projects listed? This is a reasonably new feature in Wiki Educator here in the navigation is welcome to Wiki Educator and there is a link to projects. Now, Otago Polytechnic has a project listed, and the way I got it listed is I just contacted uh, one of the Wiki Educator uh, people I know who can manage the content on the site, apart from the basic editing of pages, and list a project here. But you see this project page is a wiki like any other project, and see the edit button. If we click edit, as long as you're logged in, you can add a project here. Now, obviously, there are administrators watching these pages. So, if somebody added an inappropriate project or something that they didn't deem was within the Wiki Educator scope, then they would probably contact that person and say, "Hey, what's that about?" And here you can see Otago Polytechnic. It's just an internal link to Otago Polytechnic, and all that page is. If I just go back, scrolling down here, Otago Polytechnic. Click that, and it brings up a page of the projects that Otago Polytechnic is working on on the Wiki Educator development platform. Um, so that's uh, that's one way of adding projects. It's all self-organized, and um, it's a great way to draw attention to your work. And dormant projects, I suppose this would be administered, I don't have much to do with this, but be administered by the Wiki Educator uh, administer, administrators, um, namely Wayne McIntosh would probably have the most influence on what becomes a dormant project. And I'm not sure why they list dormant projects. I think it's something to do with wiki traditions and stuff like that. Uh, sort of an archive of projects that might be um, reborn or, or brought back to life at some stage if it's needed. And then a list of proposed projects. Um, and that's interesting. I'm just looking here because at the top of every page, you'll see, please join the Wiki Educator mailing list. And a fair bit of communication happens through that mailing list talking about potential projects. And I remember recently there was a proposal for a, a focused project on teacher training, uh, a, whole, a whole range of aspects to do with teacher training. And I don't see it listed here in active projects. Teacher education, that's probably it. That's probably it now there. Okay, that's reassuring. I'll just click that. And so from what I can see there, yes, I think that is the page. Uh, look at the history. I think from memory I started this page as a response to, uh, oh, maybe I didn't. Oh, no, there's me in there. 
I've done something in there. But anyway, uh, this this project was born through discussion of one one person um, proposing a project focus in the email uh, forum and then that getting to a certain level of understanding and then somebody initiating the page and now capturing the ideas in that page. We just go back and see where that's up to. So welcome orientation. So it's a different type of page in that it's linking out to sub-pages mostly. So the home page is more of an index and has a picture over here. So it'll be interesting to see where that project goes because that's one I've seen born and now it's uh, following through. So that was an explanation merrily of uh, what is Libra, spelled L-I-B-R-E, um, more to do with freedom rather than free products, and uh, or and as well as free products, and what is the difference between an active and a dormant project and who gets to propose a project. We all get to propose a project, we all get to manage projects and add them to the project lists. Okay, uh, that might be about it. See how that goes, and looking forward to another prompt merrily. They were challenging questions.